Even though there are hundreds of millions of black holes in the Milky Way galaxy, we have only been able to locate a dozen of them. Astronomers are irritated by the majority of black holes' secrecy since it not only makes it hard to study them, but also makes space a frightening place. These terrifying cosmic beings that lurk in the shadows can endanger our life. Imagine how scary it would be to find in our area a huge bottomless abyss from which there is no way out. And now, right outside of our cul-de-sac, we have found one of those enormous black holes. On a cosmic scale, even the mere concept of something with such a strong gravitational pull that light cannot escape is only a stone's throw away. It's frightening how near they are to us. Greetings from Fact, No. The movie for today also discusses the discovery of a massive black hole in our galaxy's neighborhood. It's only been a few decades since they were thought to be hypothetical solutions to Einstein's space-time equations that had no bearing on the physical cosmos. However, we now know that there are star-mass black holes and extremely massive black holes in the cores of all major galaxies. They are younger siblings that have been seen all around the Milky Way. These objects are thought to be abundant in space by astronomers, but despite their prevalence, they are famously hard to find which is not unexpected given how well they blend into the night. Black holes have dominated thought experiments used by physicists to explore the extremes of nature for many years. Black holes have been studied by generations of physicists as indicators of the quantum nature of gravity. Since a swarm of black holes was discovered not far from the supermassive black hole in the heart of our galaxy, black holes have received a lot of media attention. It is dark. You desire to observe a black hole. It absorbs light. Yet here we are capturing something that's meant to be invisible, literally on the border of space and time. That, in my opinion, is simply amazing. Scientists have found the fastest growing black hole, which is also the fastest growing black hole ever seen. About halfway across the cosmos, astronomers headed by Australian National University discovered the supermassive black hole. Every second, it uses up the energy equivalent of Earth. The furthest black hole ever found dates back to the beginning of the universe and weighs the same as three billion suns. A few years ago, the first black hole to be captured on camera made headlines all around the world. A behemoth with a mass around 6.5 billion times greater than our own is at the center of the M87 galaxy. Even more astounding is the fact that the black hole hiding at the center of our own Milky Way galaxy has a mass of only only 4.3 million solar masses. The giant in M87 is about 53.5 million light years distant from Earth. But lately, it was claimed that a massive black hole, nearly 12 times as heavy as the Sun, had been found. From what we can tell, it is closer to the Sun than any other black hole, which is perhaps the nearest black hole to Earth and is 1,550 light years away from us. Unless there is a rival for this honor who is so close to us that we are not aware of, it's an interesting goal for the future. Dr. Chakrawarty, the Ping Chen Endowed Chair in the Department of Physics at UAH, a campus of the University of Alabama system, and a team of researchers from across the country combed through a wealth of information that included nearly 200,000 binary stars and was made available available over the summer by the Gaia satellite of the European Space Agency. The researchers checked spectrographic data from various telescopes, including the automated planet finder at the Lick Observatory, the enormous Megalon Telescope, GNT, and the WMKE Observatory in Hawaii, to further investigate sources of interest. These observations showed a main sequence star that was strongly affected by gravitational forces. These spectrographic observations, which provide us with a line of sight velocity owing to Dewar shift, allow us to establish the black hole's pool's location on the visible sun-like star, as Dr. Chakravarti noted. We can determine the mass of the black hole companion, 
the period of rotation and how eccentric the orbit is by looking at the line of sight, the velocities of the visible star, and how similar this visible star is to our own sun. These independent spectroscopic observations supported the Gaia solution, which also showed that this binary system is made up of a visible star circling a massive star. You are trapped by the extreme surface gravity. You are entrapped indefinitely, even at the speed of light. It is the space-time continuum's fabric bent back on itself. And once you're there, there's no coming out, unless there are stars being emitted from the black hole, or ripples in space-time. Light-trapping black holes are very difficult to detect because they are in closer orbits and gather material from their star partners. Interacting black holes and pattern dances are usually simpler to detect with infrared light. Around the black, this material creates a torus-shaped disk that is accelerated to relativistic speeds that are close to the speed of light, becoming extremely energetic and emitting X-ray radiation, rotating around one another and traveling at speeds that are close to the speed of light and colliding. This results in the creation of a tidal wave that ripples outward at the speed of light in the fabric of space. A portion of it accelerated toward Earth. No one was on Earth at the time, but it had a 1.4 billion year voyage to complete before reaching Earth, which is located around 100,000 light years distant. Even after traveling for 100 light years, it still accelerates toward Earth while feeding on the Milky Way galaxies. A man by the name of Albert Einstein formulates equations that might point to the existence of these gravitational waves. Right, that one is already hurtling at the globe and it keeps up the speed. Two clear days when they activate the upgraded LIGO detector, it will be two light days away. The two detectors are shaken when the wave passes by Earth two days days later. One is the Washington in Louisiana, allowing us to observe ripples in the fabric of space for the first time directly, because non-interacting black holes do not produce these disks and instead have larger orbits. They need to be discovered by studying the apparent star's movements. Black holes in binary systems are most common in X-ray binaries. This indicates that they are X-ray bright. We can witness X-rays as material from the other star falls down this deep gravitational potential as a result of some interaction with the black hole, which is often caused by the black hole eating the other star. Astronomers created a method in 2018 that has the potential to treble the number of known star mass black holes. Black hole discovery can be difficult. Bird scientists work at the IAC in the Canary, an institution for astrophysics, unveiled a novel detecting technique. The novel approach described in a report released on September 20th focuses on stellar mass black holes seen in binary systems when mass is supplied to the black hole by a donor star. Using a unique method that searches for light emanating from this secretion, we find that this mass made of gas from the star's atmosphere turns into a luminous accretion disk spinning around the black hole as it falls over the event horizon never to be seen again. According to the IAC astronomers, certain properties of this light, which can contain important data about the mass and kinematics or motion of the gas, could reveal the strength of the gravitation field action on the accretion disk and, consequently, the mass of the object sucking in interstellar mass. A single star's gravitational collapse or the collision of two neutron stars results in the formation of black holes, determining the exact weight of the vacuum-producing device. Because it enables astronomers to distinguish between binary systems that contain black holes, which they are searching for, and binary systems that contain neutron stars, which although are not quite as massive as black holes, can still suck matter off a companion in a manner similar to black holes. The 185-day orbital period of the monstrous black hole that was discovered, it is not moving closer to the visible star and is now rather far away. Millions of visible stars in our galaxy are accompanied by enormous black holes, represent a population that is relatively new. It will thus probably take some time to understand their characteristics, their origin, 
and how these channels vary from or are similar to the more well-known population of interacting, merging black holes. The most amazing method for exploring the limits of contemporary physics is through discoveries like these. The solution to comprehending the structure of our cosmos may lie in solving these puzzles. Will there ever be a day where all people, spacecraft traveling at speeds greater than light can approach the limit of this area when gravity is irrational? Could one of these monsters reach our blue planet if there are in fact many more of them out there? Post your opinions in the section below. Thanks for watching.